Mike Moore Media. I'm checking in with the Eden Parks and Recreation Department on our media line, Carla Huffman. She's with the Garden of Eden Senior Center. Uh, Carla is with us right now. You're at uh, Draper Rec. What's going on there? Yes, I am. Well, I'm down here. I'm down here, and they're playing. Um, they're playing pickleball. They're playing pickleball. And uh, anyway, I just wanted to yeah, walk out here. I, I hear a little bit it. in the background there. Yeah. Yeah. Here they go. Yeah, it's uh, we've got a group that plays every uh, every morning down here except for Thursday. People uh, love pickleball, and don't they? Basketball and other sports are getting ready to happen. Yeah. Um, they probably won't get to play on you know as much in, at night. Mm-hmm. But I think I'm going to add maybe a Saturday morning, Wednesday, and a Saturday morning. So we'll see. Um, but anyway, they play every day if I'd let them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it's a fun game, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It, it, uh, it's addictive. Yeah, <laughs> I think apparently. People get started. Yeah, that's what yeah, I hear. And they don't want to stop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm actually on your Facebook page, Carla, and uh, looks like a, a busy November. Lots going on. Oh yeah, we um, we've got a, a lot going on. We're uh, some new things we're doing. Um, we we started a, a well it's supposed to start in not next Friday but the Friday after we're doing a Spanish club just some ladies that wanted to learn uh, to speak Spanish and so they're doing conversational Spanish on Fridays at one mm-hmm. um, and I think one, a lady is going to help them with it but anyway it's just just a group that wants to meet on Fridays at one and and if anybody wants to learn conversational Spanish. You know, they can come try to get in on the conversation. So, okay. um, bueno. we're also doing, yeah, <laughs> gosh, yes. but anyway, we're doing, um, uh, also, uh, t- this Tuesday at the center, we're they're voting, you know, at Bridge Street. So, mm-hmm. we have Meals on Wheels and Meals with Friends is at the Garden of Eden, and also hand and foot cards, and uh, all sorts of stuff. That's going to be a crazy day because everything's relocated to my place, yeah. So, I've also started a walking group over at uh, Mill Avenue in the morning, 8 to 8.30. We walk the gym because it's getting cold outside. I know that a lot of walkers like to get up and go early, and it's just too cold. Um, you know, So I, I thought, well, I'll give them a warm place to walk mm-hmm. at least for 30 minutes, and um, they can walk. And then when pickleball starts at 8.30, they can still walk in there at 8.30 to whenever but they just tend to stay around the perimeter mm-hmm. so they you know the balls may come flying but you know there's you know from 8 to 8 30 though we just walk so okay um and then uh, they also walk at, at bridge street but bridge street gym is much smaller and so it takes like 52 laps to make a mile so you know it's just too small mm-hmm. but emma over the, emma king she teaches um exercise with emma over there nine o'clock on monday wednesday friday and they also have chair exercise there on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And Emma, uh, some of them walk and do some of the exercises that Emma does. And they, they do both. Cause they can't, a lot of people can't walk the whole time. They'll just walk and have a seat and do some. So she offers both stand up exercise and sit down. So, you know, and she plays great music and it's just up, upbeat and, uh, gets you going. I love exercise in the morning because it just, you get it done, and then you got the rest of the day. No excuses, you know? Yeah, off to a good um, start, sure. Right, and then, you know, because something always happens in the day, and you don't get to it, or you get too tired to do it because your day was crazy. So if you do it first thing and act like it's my job, I'm going to get it done. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, that's, that's great. But I want to do the walk, and, you know, I really want to push that uh, in in January and try to do a – keep up with people's miles and when they reach 26 miles you know that's a marathon so i'll get i'm gonna try to um do some kind of reward kind of thing in january like t-shirt or something and then when they reach 100 miles and when they reach 500 miles and you know 250 whatever keep it going but and that doesn't take long really if you do you know three miles uh three times a week you know you've got nine miles in the first week Mm -hmm. so it doesn't really take long to do, and um, hopefully, uh, 
people will, will do it starting in, uh, well, starting now, but in January I'll start with my incentives, hopefully. I've got to get all that cleared and stuff. So. Yeah, okay. But anyway, our bocce league ended. Our shuffleboard league is still going on for the month of November. I have a shuffleboard court inside and out at Bridge Street, so we can do it inside when it's cold and outside when it's warm. Because you never know what the weather's going to be. So, mm-hmm. And I like to be outside as much as I can. So They're going to um, be out Monday probably. It's going to be like summertime <laughs> Monday. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on Saturday. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Um, uh, so then uh, what else we got going? We have um, watercolor. We have our normal things like our watercolor class, our, our um, you know, card playing games. We do have a book tournament. It's going to start, uh, it's, the registration is now until the 9th, and um, it's November, it starts November 16th at 10 a.m., ho- and we're hopefully ending it at 2. We're going to have lunch at 12 and then end at 2. But if we have too many teams, if you have, we have a lot of teams, we may have to uh, go another week, because I don't want them to sit more than, you know, four hours is long enough, you know, mm-hmm. that I'm getting up and sitting down, but... You know, they they don't just sit the whole time because they'll switch tables and that thing. But I don't. I think it's too long if you do it over four hours. So we're gonna we may continue the next week just determining how you know how many teams we have. So um, and the way I had to change it because we were you know we were gonna pick we were gonna draw for partners when they got there, but um, a lot of people didn't like that and they weren't signing up. And so I said, okay, you can pick your partner. <laughs> so <laughs> they'll pick a partner, they sign up, and then um, next week will be the next week will be the tournament. Um, but they have to let me know by the ninth of November, which is next Wednesday, if they're planning on playing. So, mm-hmm. okay. And it is five dollars because we're going to order lunch. Uh, we're going to have pizza and drinks and salad, probably. So it's five dollars. Um, and then what else? Is going on. Let's see. Um, we do, we do, we have um, appointments for notarizations. We help people with all sorts of stuff. I mean, I have a lady came in yesterday wanting um, me to help her do a, something online. We do, we help people with resumes. We do all sorts of things like that. So, um, and some tech help. We have a girl that comes in and helps us. You know, if people have a problem using their phone, she can, you know, try to help them with that, those kind of things. Um, let's see. And next, this, uh, it's open enrollment, you know, right now. So I do have a lady come in November 29th at 10 a.m. If people want to help decide which insurance plan to go with. Mm-hmm. Um, and this lady is with the uh, Senior Health Insurance Information Program. She's not with the insurance, so she's not... You know, sometimes when you get people wanting to talk to people, they're pushing their own insurance. Well, this is not. She's unaffiliated. Yeah. And she, you know, so she can help them, you know, depending on what they buy, what what they need, what their medicines are and stuff, she she knows a lot about what what's the best plan that will cover that. And um, she saved. I've had so many people come in and, and say, she said me fifty dollars a month, but just by, you know, changing this or whatever, mm-hmm. and uh, so it's it's worth a, a look to see if you're getting the best deal that you can possibly get. Sure, you may can save some money. Um, and I think, goodness, I'm I'm already thinking about Christmas here. I've got the party, <laughs> Christmas party, planning for um, December. It's just flying by. Mm-hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, we still do virtual things, like we have virtual programs. Um, Eden Drug comes. They'll be, uh, they came and they do a virtual program every month. And then um, we do Tai Chi virtually also. That's a, um, it's a great relaxation, stretching, um, exercise. And, and we do that on uh, Mondays at 2. And we do it, we have a setup at the center because ha- there is a lady that does it with ARP. Uh, there's all sorts of classes you can get. If you go to seniorplanet.org, you can do tons of programs for free. 
online, and, and you can do tons of them, tech help. Um, but they're live. You, it's a person to talk to. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not just a, something to watch. They're, they ask questions. You can ask questions. You can get answers. Um, you can, you know, the, the Tai Chi ladies live, you know, so you can ask her questions. So it's just like being there. But And, and I do, I set up the, you know, our, our big screen TV and, We'll do it along with the with the um, instructor, and uh, we dim the lights, and it's very relaxing. Mm-hmm. Um, I have had a few people come for that, uh, but I um, and I got certified in Tai Chi to teach it, but the the I don't know. I don't. I didn't like the um, the style that I that I got. I didn't know which style I was learning, and I. I didn't really like the style, mm-hmm. and so I didn't. <laughs> I didn't offer the class because it wasn't what I thought needed people would like. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to still work on that and try to get some maybe Tai Chi in in January. Mm-hmm. Um, but let me think. Um, so Tech Help is uh, November 18th. Um, that's when I have the lady coming. So if people already know, they have a question about you know, about the tech help. They can they can call call and let me know what their question is so I can let her know she can research it and get, make sure she knows how to answer that question, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, we also have bingo, birthdays, and breakfast. <laughs> we celebrate that on the 22nd of November. Um, so we'll have bingo and usually uh, one of the restaurants, Hardy's, Biscuit Hill, um, and Bojangles all, all participate and they donate biscuits once a month um, for our seniors, and uh, that's on the 22nd. Mm-hmm. Um, also, Jason Ramey's coming um, on the 15th to talk to the seniors. Um, Terry Terry Vernon had told me what a good job he did at the Lions Club, and I had asked him about some speakers, you know, who would be good. And he said, "Well, get Jason. Um, he's our DA, and he's just." A really great guy, stand up guy, and uh, no, that'd be good. Got a nice, yeah, and he's got a nice story. I mean, he grew up in Aden, and um, he he, uh, you know, had obstacles and stuff, and but he also, I mean, he just turned it such a great kid. Mm-hmm. Um, and and uh, anyway, Terry knows him from the boys club. He grew up the boys club and the Y. I knew him from the Y. So you know. And now he's our DA. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. What, what a, success, a real success story there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody loves Jason, but um, yeah. What we've anyway, got it. We've got about a, about a minute and a half left, uh, Carla. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, just um, you know, call the senior center if you if you need stuff. Uh, you know, a lot of people don't know we're like a one stop hub for you know seniors. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. We we do. A lot of other things besides activities, you know, we do tax assistance, we do um, all sorts of assistance. and um, Just had flu so shots we, recently, I believe. And, yeah, mm-hmm. we did. Last yeah. month we did flu shots. We do health promotions and fitness and um, just support, just try to help seniors get the help that they need. Mm-hmm. Um, legal assistance, we do legal aid every month. Um, so, you know, yeah. anything they, they need, we try to help. Help out with. I believe it. I, I don't. You must be the number one multitasker in the world <laughs> <laughs> to balance all yeah, the programs and activities that you do. <laughs> it is sort of crazy, but you know somehow we we get it done. But it is it is sort of crazy. Um, sometimes I don't know whether I'm coming or going or what. <laughs> I get got so much on my mind and so many programs going, and they're not in one place. They're here and there and everywhere. Yeah, so. you are spread out. But, well, we, yeah. we appreciate what you do for our seniors, and you've been doing that for so many years. Thank you, Carla. Uh, it's great okay. always to talk to you. Thank you, too. Thank you so much, Mike. Okay, we'll All talk right. again soon. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Carla Huffman, yes, indeed. She is uh, providing uh, so many wonderful services for our uh, senior population here. Uh, and she's all over. She was at Draper Rec uh, then, and she's at uh, Bridge Street, and she's at uh, Garden of Eden, Eden uh, Garden of Eden Senior Center. Uh, you can get more information on Facebook at Garden of Eden Senior Center.